You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for me to check out the Sketch Wizard Draw Anything from Crayola. It says new on the box, but I don't know how new it actually is. It's new to us, and it's new for me, and I'm going to learn about it. They call it the Fold Up Sketch Wizard Unit. Looks like you get a graphite pencil, six short colored pencils, five scenes, and five blank sheets. So you look through that little thing there, that little viewer there, and you draw what's up here. Hmm. Rather interesting. I'm going to give it a shot here. Let's just read a little bit here. It says, with Crayola Sketch Wizard, you can draw almost any flat image or dimensional figure. Sketch Wizard projects a ghosted image on paper, making it easy to recreate. Draw from pictures and photographs or from your favorite action figures or dolls. You can even draw a friend or objects across the room. Reflects a traceable image onto paper. Look at that. So here, toys and action figures and other objects. Digital images, photos, and pictures. Detached viewfinder for sketching and coloring. Folds up for easy storage and portability. Well, you know what I got to do? I'm excited about it because I need to practice my drawing skill because I'm not too good at that. So let's see if this helps. Let me get out of the box and we'll check it out. All right, here we go. Here is the main unit. Now, it doesn't require any batteries, so you're basically just... Uh, drawing you don't have to worry about that your colored pencils your graphite pencils there's paper and then sheets that have different pictures on them like this one see it's a stage there's these small sheets a castle a little outdoor scene and then there's these bigger sheets this one's got a snake in the desert and then let's see we have a water scene with sharks and a ship meteors in space Volcanoes erupting, and it looks like some kind of pyramid in the jungle. All right, so let's move those out of the way. Let's move this out of the way, get my pencils ready, because we need to look at this here. It says, okay, flip this up. Okay, we're going to do that, and then it should click. All right, okay, there's the click. So that was click one. It was in this part here, and it says flip this back. Okay. There's legs here. See the legs now? All right, so we pull that back. All right, so there, we're set. Now it says, firmly bolt, pull both lenses away from the lens holder and snap into position. All right, firmly. Okay, there we go. And then it says, firmly pull the top lens up until it snaps into position as shown. Okay, there we go. Now it says, place a sheet of white paper on base. All right. So now we're back down here, and there's these little notches this goes into right here. Mm hmm. Now you're ready to draw. All right, so pick one, a flat art. So I could put a piece of flat art right here. Okay. That's one option, see? Well, let me give you the whole shot there. And, or a figure. So you could do a figure this way. Watch, a little flip down here. Let's say I want to put a little Furby figure here, so I'll put my Furby figure. And then it also says for larger objects, you could fold the legs down this way and then put a figure, get those legs all the way up, right here it looks like on that platform area. Okay, now we're getting it. Let's just do, let's just look at this. So let me reset up here, see how the camera actually looks into this and I'll take a look into it and we'll see if I can draw anything. All right, so now you're looking through the eyepiece. Now watch, I'm gonna move my hand in. Now what you're looking at is the surface. See my hand? Okay. So this is the flat part here, but it's projecting from the top section. So that's the top section up there. Now if I wanna draw what's here, now it's hard to do because I don't have my eyepiece in there, but I'm just gonna kinda of match it up. And then I'm drawing a line. so I can actually draw the picture now. Now, probably for me, I would want to take more time. And I'm not actually having my eye right up against it, so it does make it a little harder this way. But it sure does make sense to me. Oop, I moved my paper. Sorry about that. And then, uh, otherwise, that's it. You would just keep drawing. So what I want to do now is maybe... 
don't know what that thing is. Move a figure in there or something. And see what, ooh, off the line. See what that looks like. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, there's my hand. See my hand? I'll be right back. All right, now I'm looking through the hole, and you're actually seeing it from the side now, and I'm just kind of coloring in part of the section. So you can't actually see what I'm doing, but you can see how, how I'm going off the line, that's for sure. My lines aren't straight. So this is the top of that building. I'm going to fill it in. Okay, and this is the level before it. I just wanted to show you a different perspective. Now I'm filling in that whole section. All right, so when I come back, I'm just going to, I'm just drawing and playing. When I come back, I'm going to bring a figure in here and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so there is my Furby figure. Check that out. So I will bring my hand in now. And you see my hand? So now what you can do is you can draw over the figure like this and trace it out. Now, I'm going fast, but you would probably spend a little more time. The only other thing I would probably consider is taping down the paper. Now, I'm not looking directly in the eyepiece. I'm looking at the viewfinder on the camera, so it is a little harder to do. You see when I put my hand down on it, things move? So I'd probably stabilize this as much as possible. Okay. And I think that would make it easier, because even the slightest movement adds a little challenge to it there. There's the top of the Furby head. It's that little thing he's got on, his little puff there. And then here's his little beak. And his mouth. Okay. And his eye. And his other eye. So let me just see if I can trace him out completely. I'm not really taking my time here, as you can tell. Okay. All right. There's this section here under his beak. And he's got a bag coming through here. Here's his underbelly, his feet. His little stethoscope here. That's way off. I could tell when it's off. I mean, you can see it. And his eyes. And this piece up here. Okay, there you go. Alright, there's his other ear. I'll just outline and color that in. I hope it's coming through here and you can see my hand clearly. Okay, there you go. Alright, there's my Furby. Now, sure, you can do all the detail and spend the time. I don't know what that thing is. All right, let me take a look at it. Well, there you go. So that is what I ended up with. So, like I said, more detail, go a little slower, secure everything down really nice, and it should work a lot better for you than it did for me, but I think it actually does work. So let me clean up a little here, come back, and we'll do a quick recap. All right, so there you go. I actually did it. Remember my little Furby down there, and there's my side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to say it works. Just do a few little things, take your time, get the paper taped down, and you should be okay. So that is the Sketch Wizard from Crayola. I'm going to say it's pretty cool. If you want to see other Crayola items, we'll have a link in the description with a playlist. Or as always, you can search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.